You can catch Daily Blast live right here on ABC 10 every weekday at 11 a.m. discussing the latest hot topics and trends. And today, we're getting a little pre-conversation going with Al Jackson and Brandon London about the popular DNA testing company Ancestry. The company is saying that it is their moral responsibility to give the FBI access to your DNA. Al and Brandon are standing by. And you guys, I would be amiss to not point out the fact that just recently here in Northern California, it was actually DNA obtained from a crime scene matched to the DNA from a commercial uh, DNA company that led to the final arrest of a very notorious killer, the Golden State Killer. Um, it took them 30 years that. to have this information, and now there's finally some closure for some victims. Um, but still, people are going to say this is an invasion of privacy. What do you think? I think it can be both. I think that's the world that we live in. I mean, the, you, you look at DNA and how many people that that could possibly exonerate Melissa, mm -hmm. how many people are sitting in jail for something that they didn't do. So obviously that's a wonderful thing. But also this is your personal information. This is your genetic blueprint that we're talking about. And we uh, I was actually watching uh, the last episode of the trial of uh, Adnan Syed, mm -hmm. and they said that DNA evidence can all, often be used by a prosecutor to mislead a jury because mm -hmm. even though there's DNA evidence, you can use that to mislead a, a jury so I mean we're talking about planning information I mean this yep. is a big deal this is your it, it, this is you it's the, the blueprint of you Brandon absolute <laughs> huge deal Melissa um, yes. my last name is London um, my grandparents can only trace back to whatever uh, plantation that their grandparents or, or the, our ancestors were from I would want to find out why my last name is London and where I actually come from but at the same time I don't want to voluntarily give my DNA to the FBI it's not like I have anything to hide but mm -hmm. at the same time I want my privacy. Mm -hmm. you know, I, Where you know, are you following this, Melissa? You know, great points from both of you. Um, but you know, I have to say, I think when it comes down to companies like Ancestry, the DNA commercial companies taking your private information and selling it for profit or commercial, you know, money-making reasons. Let, let's say selling it to the medical industry, uh, because that has been an issue in the past, where they they give you the right to either say yes or no to that, because then they can profit from it when it comes to research for for medicine, things that you don't want them, you know, having, you know, taking your information and then profiting from. But I think when it comes to criminal cases and purposes like that, um, I personally, for myself, I do not have a problem with them doing that because of the fact that it can result in finally having resolution for those uh, who've been, uh, you know, looking for that for so long, such as in the case of the Golden State Killer. 30 years they've been waiting to try to find who mm. has been out and uh, who who was the responsible for such notorious acts? And when it comes to that type of information, it's so hard to find that I'm I'm fine with it personally. I really am. But I want to see the fine print. I want to see how are they accessing it, who's accessing it. Um, you know, because just saying the FBI has the right to do it, uh, I want to know more about what that means. Does that make sense? Doesn't it remind you guys a little bit of the Facebook situation in terms, yes. of, exactly. in, in terms of finding yes. out who you are? And I think when you start talking about your DNA, what they can then do, Melissa and Brandon, is they can say, well, you know what? Brandon is predisposed to diabetes. Yep. So yes. now there's companies that are going to be marketing at you. It's going to show up in your feeds. It's going to show up, you know, uh, everywhere yep. because you're going to be marketed to because your DNA, your DNA is being used to sell you things. And I think that's really a nefarious thing for a company to do. But yes. obviously Facebook showed us that these are corporations. They're not very scrupulous. They're just here to make a buck. You're saying what I was trying to say. Thank you, Al. Yes, no, I totally agree. I don't want them to use me to make a buck, just like you pointed out. But if it's a, if they need it for criminal purposes, for, for reasons to bring justice, Definitely. that to me is different. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. I, I, and that, I think that's why people are on the fence with this, but I would like to see that in the commercials then. Instead of saying, oh, you could be from Slovakia, you could be from Lithuania, I would like them to also put that in the commercial instead of it being some sort of small print. Like right. when you're yes. watching some Verizon ad and they're like, text messages applies to the world. <laughs> yes. That sort of thing. <laughs> but I think they need to put that out there as, long, as well as the Facebooks and anyone else who's going to try and profit off of our DNA or our data. Yeah, you, right. and, and Al, you said off the top, it's that day and age. So as consumers, we have to be incredibly careful about stuff like that it's you guys very, it's a very personal private thing so let's hope yes. that they uh, do better than Facebook did <laughs> uh, I agree gentlemen thank you so much this is such a heated conversation and everyone you can hear more about it too as you stay tuned right here on ABC 10 where you can catch Daily Blast live uh, weekdays gentlemen thank you so much thank, thank you, you Melissa. Melissa this interview involves commercial content the products and services featured appear as paid advertising